Hello everyone, this is Kimmy Wyatt and welcome to this video. I'm doing this video called These Four Women um, and I'm dedicating this video to four women who have been in my life and um, um, still are in my life. Okay. Uh, before I get started, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and be sure to click that notification bell so that you will be one of the first to get notifications of new bits I post up. I'm going to get a little closer because I don't know if you guys can see me that well. Um, also, seven terms I want you guys to look up. I am a victim of gang stalking. A lot of you don't know what gang stalking is. Uh, never knew it existed. Just talked to uh, three people today and they had no clue what gang stalking is. Um, and so, or better yet, I don't think they knew it was a term to what they're doing. Okay, gang stalking. And uh, so please get pen and paper, pencil and paper, or open up a note app in your phone. And I will give you 10 seconds to do that while I adjust my clothes. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, first term is gang stalking. As I mentioned, G-A-N-G -E stalking. You can put that together or separate. Um, second term is group stalking. Group and gang are basically the same thing, but some people may have titled, put their put group stalking um, in the title of their work um, or, or works, works, work or works. Um, electronic stalking. Yes, your electronics can spy on you, but not from the manufacturer. I'm not talking about that type of spying. I'm talking about literally where your um, um, electronics are being manipulated to spy on you, okay, and appliances as well, okay, um, targeted individuals, uh, I'm a targeted individual, targeted individuals, individuals with an S, and I don't know how this is going to come out, so let me do it this way, <laughs> that way, uh, empath, I am an empath also, and let me say, if you are an empath, you are definitely going to be a targeted individual however if you're a targeted individual that doesn't necessarily mean you're an empath organized crime please don't go by what you see in the movies okay please don't literally look up organized crime it's a little deeper than um what you may know and what you see in the movies okay uh and also last term is perps if you live in these here united states trust me you live within a 10 mile radius of a perp, right? And so, yeah, yeah, well, right up under your nose, literally. All right, uh, and trust me, they, they do live around you. All right, before I get, uh, also before I get started, um, I have come up with a twist pudding for your hair for those of you in the natural hair care movement, four different formulas, original, um, let's see, enhanced dry skin slash hair formula, dry skin and hair, as well as uh, protein enriched. So, yeah, so check those out. And there's videos already on the channel, uh, testimony videos where you can actually get testimonies of my products. And skincare line is coming down later on, but right now I have those on the market and I absolutely love them and um, hopefully you'll try them and love them, them too. Right now I'm doing a promo. If you want me to do your hair for two months, I will do your hair twist only. I'm not going to perm your hair um, and I will do your hair for two months only if you give me your testimony video. Come on. All right. And which will be posted right here where my other videos are. I'm not going to say where. Also, um, I, I am going to say this, however, the seven terms that I just gave you, please look those terms up via a video platform, and I highly suggest YouTube. The reason for that is that you're going to get a different uh, uh, opinions, facts, etc. from different sources, okay, as opposed to looking at text. I mean, you can do that too, but, you know, to really see the person and see who's talking, in, if, if, if applicable. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, these four women. I'm going to start with my mother. You guys, my mother, and this is dedicated to these four women. First of all, there are no more women on the planet on finding, whether they have children or not, like the women that were around 
or the women that were born around at or around the same time as the four women I'm going to mention to you today. My mother is number one, and she was. My mother and I did not see eye to eye on a lot of things, but she was, I mean, as to her, I don't think she knew what kind of impact she would have on my life. My mother did not go around sleeping with all kinds of men. I don't go around sleeping with all kinds of men. Um, like, like having them coming in like a revolving door. The apple does not fall far from the tree. Okay, I'm just going to tell you. My mother, she cooked all the time. There was not a time, maybe on a Saturday, that I did not see my mother cooking. Cooking when she was married to my dad. And she was married twice, five kids, four boys, and of course, yours truly. And uh, she was always at the kitchen sink. She was always at, 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 at the stove. She was always cooking something. My dad, on the other hand, role, his role was to bring home the money. And he brought home the money. And he gave my mother the check, and there was no, not this, where's my money, and, and, and how much did you make, and this, this bickering. My mother knew what she was supposed to do. We were well taken care of, very well taken care of, of and, and my dad, he went to work. And I wish a lot of men these days would keep it that simple. Stop, stop acting like women, even though that's a little off the record. Go, go, work, go to work, get you a job, find you a good woman, <laughs> settle down. And if she's a good woman, meaning you found her, okay? The Bible says a man that findeth a woman findeth a good thing. And and I'm going to tell you, though, wooey, before I go further, there's a lot of them out here, and they are wolves in sheep's clothing. Let me say that again. There's a lot of women out here. They are pure bona fide wolves in sheep's clothing. But likewise, that seems to be a turn on for some men. Moving right along. So go get your money, make your money, get you a good woman, settle down, bring home your money. Um, these days you don't have to bring home the check so it can go to the bank. You can get direct deposit, but it's, it's still the same thing, you know. And, 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 and stop worrying about things that just really don't, just, just don't matter. I have more men focusing on, just as many men focusing on, if this is my hair or whatever, as I do women, I'm like, dude, you undercover. Just come on out the closet. You undercover. And when I say things like that, please don't think I'm talking about it, the gay, you know, the gay community knows this when people make these kind of statements. So, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm not, ooh, that means you're gay, you know, because there are gay men who do not and do not care about my hair, her, her hair, his hair. They just don't do it. But, you know. Still, people, I come out the closet, okay? You're acting, you know, for me, that means you're acting a little feminine. Uh, uh, when did I sleep with you? It's never going to happen. So, okay, moving right along. Okay, so please, please, no, men over here, women over here, but this is about the four, these four women. My mom, uh, I was talking cook, so I cook, I love, love, love to cook. I, just, I don't go around sleeping with a lot of men. And I'm going to say this too. When people find out you don't sleep with a lot of men, you're a lesbian. No, honey. I'm not a lesbian. I just know what I want in my life. And you're not it. Ding. Male or female. Okay. I don't do women like that. But okay. For the record. Um, so yeah, people will say that and they don't understand. <laughs> My mom was a little different than your mother. You didn't see men coming out of uh, our front door like that. So uh, I wasn't raised that way and I'm 110% woman. She was 150%. So what does that tell you? She was, she was out there. So, uh, I, I, I've said many times, I wish I could be 50% of the mother, 50% of the mother my mother was. I, I really do. And that's saying a lot. I had an excellent wonderful mom all right okay so um a lot of things that she did and she she taught me respect my mother taught me about being respectable now you know th this is these are not things that she sat me down and taught me how to cook i mean i'm in the kitchen i'm with her i'm in the kitchen seeing her do these things she was respectable to people she didn't go around lying and most importantly amongst other things but most importantly, my mom, my mother raised us in the church. We grew up in the church. Uh, Christmas time comes, you guys. The Christmas tree, OMG. I mean, 
from the floor to the bottom of the Christmas tree. Diameter wise, I mean all the way around, you, all you saw was, were these toys and, and, and gifts and things. for, And that was even after my father and my mother got divorced. She was just one of these wonderful parents that's going to curse you out. Mm -hmm, that's where I got it from. I got it honest. Okay, but I, I, I you know, I, I don't know who, who was worse. She, she stopped in her latter years. And, I, and, and like I said, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You know, I, because I am a victim of gang stalking, I have found, and I've mentioned before, that I've been cursing more than I normally would or should. And I've been asking the Lord to remove that out of my life, you know, because it's not me. All right. Um, yeah, but she, she, clothes, you know, not to be materialistic, but we had clothes on our backs. We had food, clothing, shelter, um, even to the point where she, she would have some of our clothes custom made. She was just one of those parents, you know, I'm talking boys getting their clothes custom made. My mom, my mom would do that. And, uh, just an absolute, I, I, I couldn't ask for a better mother and, um, what you guys didn't know is that this is my second time recording this video because in the first video, well, it stopped. But in the first video, um, uh, I was crying. And so I'm, I'm, I'm better now. I had, to, I had to actually pause the video and go get a towel. I really did. Because, um, you know, yeah, it is what it is. Wonderful, wonderful mom. And so the second woman... And, and Lord, thank you for putting that woman in my life. We got whoopings. I mean, she didn't play. We got whoopings. You know, if y'all know what whoopings are, <laughs> we, you know, spare the rod, spoil the child. You know, and and uh, but yeah, we got whoopings. But my mother was one of the best mothers on the planet. Mm -hmm. um, second woman I want to talk about is one of her sisters, my Aunt Pauline. My Aunt Pauline, it was something about her voice, stern. She had one of those voices like this, you know. She she was, but she meant what she, you know, what she said. My mother, oh, my mother, oh, my God. My mother backed on my mother right quick. My mother, sweetest woman on the planet, don't mess with her. And she's made this statement more than once. And she said, she said, she's said I got the sweetest daughter in the world. Just don't cross her. Yeah. And what she meant by that is, I am I am sweet. I, I'll give some I'll give someone my last, but don't disrespect me. Don't do that. Okay. Is what she you know what she meant. And my mother was was the same way. And okay, so Aunt Pauline. First of all, hello to my cousins. Um, both of these women are deceased and I want my cousins to know I love them. You guys should have seen that first video. <laughs> totally different <laughs> to what I'm, my demeanor now. I was really bawling basically the entire time, but I've had time to regroup. I had to charge my phone and, and things. But my Aunt Pauline, tea cakes. Now, I don't eat cake, tea cakes, but we're a butter family and I know they had butter in them. <laughs> my Aunt Pauline was known for her tea cakes and for also amongst a lot of things whooping my mother she whooped my mother she was 13 she had 13 years I think on my mother okay and, and I, I yeah I think she had 13 years on my mother and uh eldest child out of eight and just very kind uh, she and the second woman, a third woman, I'm going to talk about, actually shared a birthday, but they had two different personalities, I, I feel, you know. They shared a birthday, but uh, two different personalities. And, uh, hey, baby, you know, but, but you know, her, her voice, you know, which I, 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 I could get it, but I would have to get off camera and practice, you know. It wasn't deep. It was, she, she just, she, she was just deep. same type of woman my mother was very strong women didn't do all of this whoremongering and all of that no 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 because 
I'm, I'm, I'm talking about these women because they knew their worth. And I think one of the greatest things, going deep into my family, I'm talking my generation, generations below, one of the great, and, and above, you know, their generation, one of the greatest things that I think our moms, uh, because, you know, I have cousins, uh, taught us was to be a lady. Always be a lady. And curse someone out. <laughs> Which is a part of being a lady. You, if you have to tell someone what road to get off on, I mean, you, you have to tell them. You know, they're disrespecting you. And so, she, they demanded respect. And they got it. Same way I demand respect. And chances are I'm going to get it. A lot of women today don't realize the, the, the men are, that are coming in your life, those men are coming in your life for two reasons. The apple does not fall far from the tree, and you're desperate. I'm going to say that again. The men that are coming in your life, and they're not good men, and you don't want to admit to it, and you but you can admit to it in the back of your head, but you're desperate, okay, you know, that kind of stuff. They're coming in your life for two reasons. The apple does not fall far from the tree, meaning you act just like the person who raised you, in most cases your mom, and you're desperate. But then you look at a woman like me who does not believe in just opening her legs up to anyone, please. And because, you know, I'm not a bad looking chick, whatever, you know, I try to keep myself, you know, in, in order. Oh, she must be a lesbian or something. She's some, no, 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 baby. Let's do an assessment on you. No. I just had one of the most wonderful mothers and three of the most, three more wonderful women in my life. And I can go all the way down the line if you want me to. I can, I can go above generation and, 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 and you know what I'm saying? I can do that. And, and my mother's generation. So I, I, I have to act like how I was raised. The apple does not fall far from the tree. All right. Um. My my Aunt Pauline, we, we you know they grew up in the country, Texas, uh, Howlville, Howlville, Marshall, Longview. I never understood which th which out of three of those. I mean, they're right literally. You can throw a rock to all three of them, you know, um, and uh, reverse, you know. And well, what I'm saying is, you can be in one city and throw a rock to the other one because they were so close. But I think Howlville, Howlville, Texas is. But then you got Longview and you got, they went to, they, they were born in Hallsville and went to school in Marshall. You know, we talked talk about back in the day. But yeah, wonderful aunt. And I want to say right now, mom, it ain't Pauline. Much love. Yeah. Much love. Third woman I want to talk about is my Aunt Lois, another sister. Was, there was three girls and five boys. My Aunt Lois and I, like my mother and I, do not see eye to eye. And, uh, she, she's still alive. The, the two I mentioned, <clears throat> excuse me, my mother and my Aunt Pauline are deceased. My Aunt Lois is still living. And we did not see eye to eye. But the, vi vi the purpose of this video is comparing ladies today to ladies back in the day. Okay, my mother and I bumped heads, but we, we knew, we knew we loved each other. Okay, but my mom wanted something and it was within my reach. She had it. If, my, if I wanted something and it was always in my mother's reach, <laughs> I had it. My, my, my daughter has even made this statement. Uh, I don't think I was spoiled, but, you know, my daughter said, Mommy, you're spoiled. But, 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 I don't blame you. I blame Granny. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> I'm not spoiled. I don't think I'm spoiled. I'm, I just, I mean, I'm particular. I'm particular about who I hang around with. I'm particular about what I do. But, 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 but spoiled? Huh? <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't, I don't think so. Okay, so... Um, my name Lois, L-O-I-S, 
Eva Lois, we have our moments because when my Aunt Lois will not let you finish a sentence, you can start talking about something my Aunt Lois will cut you. I don't, I don't know. We need to know nothing about that. You know, that kind of person. Um, what is that? I, I just don't understand, you know. So it's like me being of my astrological sign and her being, you know, it's like, don't cut me up. I'm, I'm talking. Okay. Um, but, but my aunt was, well, is one, another strong woman in our, in our family. Very strong. She was married to my uncle Al, uncle Alfred. They were married for years. Um, he passed away. I can tell you this. I can tell you this. I've never talked to my aunt about her boyfriends or anything like that. But I only remember her dating one man after he passed away. And that was way after he passed away. <laughs> you guys, woo! My Uncle Alfred passed away in what, 80, I think, or something like that? 81? 79? I don't know. I don't know. Whenever he, he passed away a long time ago, and she, she, yeah, she, they were just those types of women. They, they knew their worth. They knew their worth, ladies. They did just, it's sex, sex, sex is secondary. I want to know what's up here. I'm sure they wanted to know what's up here in your head. Because when I open my legs up, it's going to be worth it. And if it doesn't work out, guess what? I waited. So I don't feel sad. I don't feel bad at all. As a matter of fact, we can still be friends. And I can say, most of the guys that I dated, uh, uh, we could, we're, we're still, if I saw them, we're still cool. Okay. Even, even, you know, even my ex, I don't know. He, he's, he's, he's incognito, but I don't, I mean, I mean, I mean, not, 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 I'm gonna, yeah, what am I trying to say? I don't know. I, I just can't pick up the phone. I know his number, but you know what I'm saying? But I haven't talked to him. I haven't talked to him, put it that way. Um, but yeah, my ain't Lois. She's going to tell you, she's going to voice her opinion. And, and she, 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 yeah, she was just that woman. She's, all of these women voiced their opinion, by the way. None of the women that I mentioned, I'm going to mention and mention, were, 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 hush, hush. I'm glad that they passed that on to me. I'm looking over here, you guys, just because when I come in this area of my apartment, Remember those seven terms I gave you? Don't forget to look them up. I get an entourage of people back here in the back. So the cameras that's in here can be viewed better on this side. Okay. There we go. I had to get that out. But um, my aunt, good, excellent listener. You have a problem, you can talk to my aunt, tell her what's going on. Excellent listener. But it sounds kind of contradictory because when it gets to the point where she doesn't under, I don't understand, I don't understand that and everything. So we would kind of bump heads a little bit. It's not that she didn't understand. It's just when you try to explain things. In other words, you, and my aunt and I are going to talk at the same time, which is not good for communication. Okay, other than that, my aunt, love you so much. She's been there for me as well um, over, the, over the years, you know. Yeah, she's been there. I remember her keeping it. She she let me borrow some money years ago. Okay, I'm 50 all day long. So she let me borrow some money years ago. and But she kept my computer. I was like, keep my computer. You can have it. You know, keep it. And, and of course, I paid her back and everything. Got my, but this was, you guys, We I don't even think we had the internet. Did we even have the internet? I don't, I don't even think the internet was born. Even though people are saying it was, it's been around for a long time. I, I have to check that one out. But yeah. Um, no AOL or anything like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. The last dinosaur. The last woman I want to talk about is my Aunt Joyce. You really don't know a person, do you? <laughs> Until you get to know a person. Never hung around my Aunt Joyce. My mother's sister-in-law, and uh, still married to my uncle, 50, 52, or well, 53 or 54 years, and uh, 
thought she was this and that until I started hanging around her, you guys, after my mother passed away. Let me tell you something. Keep your mouth off people. You know, you don't know how that person is. Keep your thoughts off people. You don't know how that person really truly is. That woman has taken my mother's place in my life. There's nothing that I can't call my Aunt Joyce and talk about. And unlike my Aunt Lois, she listens. She listens. Things she don't know, she admits she does not know them. And she learns. You know, what she doesn't know. As a matter of fact, she'll tell anybody in a minute. And she'll tell someone in a minute. It was my, it was my niece. She taught me about computers. She taught me how to do this and do That was me. We've hung around each other. And I've learned about my aunt. Things I didn't know. Like, this woman is the coolest woman on the planet. Really? And when I tell you, there's some bits of angels in my life. She's been one of them. She's been one of them. Charles, even though this is about four women. <laughs> Uh, I didn't bring my okay you guys are going to see tears coming down because I didn't bring I'm not going to stop this Charles my uncle Horace her husband you guys going through there are some times I didn't know cell phone is off electricity is off And I make a phone call. There are times my uncle, Angel, I'm in the house crying. I moved back to the house group I grew up and moved back. I'm in the house crying. And then all of a sudden, two times this happened. And although there are multiple things, but two times this happened. I would stop crying because the Lord would tell me, people tell me the Lord talks to me. I'm beginning to believe it. No, seriously. My best friend brought it to my attention. I said something. She said, well, girl, you know you got that relationship with God. <laughs> so like, yeah, it's true. My, I'm crying. And both times, this is what the Lord said to me. Stop crying. Your uncle's on his way. Both times, he was right. Within 30 minutes one time, within 15 minutes another time, big bay windows in the front, where you can see out of the driveway, see the street. Here comes this white truck. He loves white. He's going to have a white vehicle. <laughs> He's got two white trucks right now amongst other cars. Here comes this white Horse. Horace is his name. <laughs> horse. H-O-R-S-E. White horse coming in the driveway. Just like God promised me. I go out. I go up to the truck. We kiss. Our family is a kissing in the mouth family. I mean, we, this is what we do most times. You know, we go to, we go, we go kiss each other, you know. The kiss on the jaw. I know. I, I don't know who you've been having sex with. But I know you have been having sex with everybody. This I know. <laughs> I know when you cook your food. That you wash your hands. And I know you just don't drink out to everybody, everyone. <laughs> I can kiss you in the mouth. Yeah. That kind of family. Uh, but he was there. And I know this is about four women. But I'm going back to my aunt. His wife. He was there. Just like the Lord had just told me and I mean you guys I would literally stop crying I, I mean I'm crying like this like well no I was worse than this <laughs> and then all of a sudden the Lord would say stop crying your uncle is on his way and he would show up just like that if I needed some money <laughs> reason for crying <laughs> you know he was there and I told him, I said, Uncle Horace, you're my angel. 
He said, huh? I said, no, you are my angel. How did you know I needed you at that moment? My uncle came over one time in lieu of that. He brought me two king-size Snickers. I'm on the outside of his door, and he's parked in the driveway, and I started crying. He says, why are you crying? He said, here, I brought you something. I was thinking about you. I said, that's why I'm crying, because you were thinking about me. It's the little things, you guys. He was thinking about me when I thought no one was. That same woman, his wife, same thing. I can look out the window and they had multiple cars. And here comes this burgundy, I can't think of the name of this car. HTC or something like that, I don't know what it is, but uh, whatever. I see it coming in the driveway. She, they hardly ever had to, had to blow the horn because I could just sense they were coming or I knew they were coming. But knowing is not the issue to sensing. I could sense they were coming. These two people have been for me, been, been for me. Two people that I never hung around with. I, I, have, I have an uncle, my Uncle Joe, one of my mother's brothers that I hung around with all the time, you know. We even had an office in the same place. Uh, yeah. Oh, here's my towel. Ooh. Y'all, I got it bad, so we get towels around. Uh, my uncle. My Uncle Joe. Character. Ooh. <laughs> now, that's a character. And if you say sad, go to talk to Uncle Joe because he's going to make you laugh. He's going to call someone loaf of bread head. Or a commode breath. He's gonna say, <laughs> he's he's gonna say, but he can only only he can say it. I mean, I can't. Uh, e mule. He's gonna call someone something. He's gonna do something. It's gonna make you just fall out on the floor almost, if not. But my ain't Joyce, ain't Joyce. I want to tell you, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. For being there for me when I had no mother you know that you have come and you have come like a soldier oh when I needed this or I needed that you were right there front and center you were right there <laughs> I want you to know I love you with all my heart. Even to this day, roof over my head, I'm all right. If I pick up that phone and say, ain't Joyce, such and such and such, what's going on, baby? Guess what? You gonna make it happen. Excuse me for sniffling. You're going to make it happen. I don't care what it takes. You are going to make it happen. It got to the point, you guys. I was just talking to her. She, she could confirm. As a matter of fact, uh, let me say this. She could confirm this. One day, I was just I was in the middle of my sentence. She's talking. I'm talking. And I started talking. And I said, and mama. She looked at me. She didn't bat her eye. She just kept looking at me and listening. I said, hey, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> when you could call someone your mama and you didn't consciously do it, that's a powerful person. Thank you. Hey, Joyce. You, you win the prize. You my angel, female. 
There are times I didn't have anyone to talk to. It never really mattered to me until, I, until you came along and I was able to talk to you. You don't realize what you're missing until you get some of your life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just thank you. I didn't know who you were. But I know now. And I don't mean I didn't know you. I just, I just didn't know you. You know. Sorry, y'all. Not only that, my sinuses and all sinuses and allergies are acting up, so I'm getting a double whammy, a triple whammy, crying and nasal and all that. Okay, so. Those are the four women that have been in my life and that are in my life, you guys. And I love them very much. And I say that to say this, ladies, 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 it's a little deeper than what you think. Don't look at me because I'm not you. I don't want to be you. I have a quote. You can never be me. You can only be you trying to be me. Let me say that again. You can never be me. You can only be you trying to be me. What does that mean? Be yourself. Stop looking at me and trying to size me up. You know. What does she do? That's why that's one of the reasons why I'll tell you this. That is one of the reasons why there are it's escalated. I used to in my videos, 300 plus videos on YouTube uh, a lot of 19 playlists, but although there's nothing in there right now because I took all the videos out of the playlist looking for some videos. And so I am going to be putting them back into the playlist. But one of those playlists is called The Blue Cup to the Attic. And I can say, and I've said in different videos, there are, I have more women watching me almost than men. These are supposed to be women. Here's another fact. Most of them are booed up. Off the record. Men, if you spy on me and your woman wants to spy on me with you, it's not that much love on the planet. That's why I love these four women because my thought process, how things are supposed to go, that's how they're going to go. So all you men out there looking at me, spying on me, doing, I don't know what fuck. There is nothing you got, you and I could ever do because the first thing you showed me is that you are pervert. I don't do perverts like that, okay? Sorry, you guys. But I was also going to say, when I said, let me finish my sentence. This aunt, I was recording a show and this aunt, uh, I called her. I said, hey, Joyce. I, I called two different aunts. Let me tell you what happened so you get an idea. Aunt Lois called her. I called Aunt Joyce first. She didn't answer the phone. And those are the two women I were going to call because these are four women in my life, two deceased. So I thought I'd call my Aunt Lois because my Aunt, Aunt Joyce uh, was not available at the time. And so I said, Aunt Joyce, I'm doing a show called Michelle Obama. Would you please run for president? Uh, is it okay if I get your opinion or something like that? Well, I don't know nothing about that. Not not the, not the topic. I don't know nothing about, in other words, I don't know anything about voicing my opinion. Uh, she even mentioned, let me let, I need to call and talk to my cousin. Uh, I'm not going to mention his name, but I, I need to talk to, to one of her sons, the other's deceased, two boys, and, and see what, 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 hey, Lois, it's just your opinion. I mean, okay. So I left that alone. I didn't, I, I, I call me back or something like that. I, no, I'm moving on. Let me call this other aunt because again, because I, I I know she, she she's gonna go in, baby. She's gonna go in and and comical. Oh my God, we'll have you on the floor. I didn't see. I didn't. I didn't know you. I know you now. And I love and I love you. I mean, she could just say some things. It's the you know it's how a person says something, not necessarily what they're saying. Yeah, my aunt, my aunt. She's. I got my hand up. Took my aunt, uh, had to go to the hospital emergency room for something. This was years ago, and and, and she drove. I drove. She let me drive the vehicle there and back. If I'm not, yeah. We parked it, you know, parking and got in and got out, you know, whatever. 
And I had to get back and fix her computer. Because I can fix a computer with my eyes closed. So I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. She said, no. What you go do is you go get back. And, and I'm telling you, you guys, I, it, it was all of like 2 in the morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. My aunt, excuse me for sniffling. My aunt said, so what we do, she said, I got my hand up on you. And she says that this is what she, I'm driving, driving back. She said, now what you gonna do is you gonna get back and put the drivers in, in, in my computer, my computer, you guys. I laughed so hard. Cause she did she knew I could fix computers, but I had never fixed her computer or just just going into the software and putting the updates and stuff, you know, you know, uh doing this and tying it down and all that, going into the group policy and all that, you know, the whole you know, well something, you know. But she wanted those drivers oh back. <laughs> and what you go do is you and see, I do this, and this is this is what made me laugh is because if I get serious with you and I, I do that, I, I do that loser head, and I, what you go do, you gonna go, you gonna go put the drivers in my computer, y'all. I think I was getting in the other lanes. I was laughing so hard. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. We went to Wendy's. Okay, so it probably wasn't two in the morning. It probably was like more like one thirty. Baby, we went to Wendy's and get some sleep. And guess what? We got back. I was putting them drivers, them drivers, in that computer, baby. Do you hear me? <coughs> Wonderful person. So, I'm going to go, you guys. Uh, but, oh, but what I was saying, uh, uh, that the particular aunt, this this aunt, she voiced her opinion, and, and she rolled with it. She didn't, I got to get permission from some, some, some. You got to get permission to voice your opinion. Okay, bye, you know. But all in all, I love all four of them. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Aunt Pauline. Thank you, Aunt Lois. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Aunt Joyce. We say Aunt in the country. I mean, in 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 in, in Texas, Aunt Joyce. Aunt, 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 but it's Aunt. Okay. So, ooh, that that don't even sound right, Aunt Aunt, Aunt Joyce. What is? Aunt Lois. Aunt Pauline. Aunt Joyce. And my mother, thank you guys so much for making me the woman that I am. Giving me something to look up to and look forward to. And I really, really appreciate it. I see a lot of women around here. And I don't know if I should laugh at them or pray for them. Really, truly. I don't know if I should laugh at them or pray for them. Right here is something, something not right. Something's not right. So, gotta go. Hasta la vista. Buenos Aires. Buenas noches. Arriba dulce. Au revoir, Selena. Don't let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. And as I will say sometimes, some of y'all need to let the doorknob hit you where the good Lord split you. Woo! Chao, Bela. Chao, Belo. Excuse me. For sniffling. Gotta go. Smooches. And by please subscribe again. Again, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and be sure to click that notification bell so that you will be one of the first to get notifications of new vids I post up. Uh, YouTube, what's going on with my account? We need to talk. All right. Bye.